five. So as you'll probably see, there's no longer a conservatory area. It's been taken down. The reason behind that was when the builders came round, one of the builders really wasn't happy about what was here. And he said it all looked really dodgy and that it didn't look like it would have enough foundations, deep enough foundations, the slab wouldn't be deep enough. So he saw, he gave us the options. He said, you either totally leave it alone and don't touch it at all because as soon as you touch it, building control will have to sign it off. And as soon as building control come round, they won't be happy or they'll have to dig down. He was pretty confident that what they would find wouldn't be great. And obviously, as you can see, there's polystyrene and that slab is not particularly thick. thick. I don't think that the foundations look that deep either. So we obviously took the decision to take it down um, and we did have the option to rebuild it, but that was going to cost about £30,000. Um, so I decided to rearrange the downstairs layout and obviously, like I've said in our other vlog for the other property, it's now totally a mirror image of that one. So the downstairs are the same, the upstairs are the same. Um, so yeah, it's been gotten rid of basically. And like with the other property, these two rooms here will now become bedrooms. And obviously that then causes the problem of how do the rest of the tenants then have access to the garden. So what we did, and as I've said in the other blog, See, this is the entrance hall, uh, sorry, the entrance bit where the front door is, and it's quite a wide space. So what we're going to do is actually do two doors. So we're going to have one door here and the other door here, and obviously this will be the front door, and then this will be the back door, and in between the two, we'll have like a, a gate um, fence sort of thing, so that you can come in this way, but if you want to leave the door open in the summer or whatever, it is secure because no one can get in that way. Um, so yeah, this then provides access for all the other tenants to the garden. Um, so what it also meant was obviously we had planned originally to have th that as a bedroom and a bathroom and then another bathroom in here for the bedroom that was going to be in this area. But obviously because we've now made that much smaller, um, the bath, they're the two tenants there are going to have to share the bathroom, which is going to be here, and then this area, which was going to be a bedroom, and it, and we always sort of said it was a bit big to be a bedroom, but we're going to turn it into like a studio room or whatever. Um, actually, now is going to become the the kitchen, lounge, diner, and so hopefully that will make best use of this space here. Um, so there's not much to report upstairs other than like ripping out has um, continued. And then, yeah, so this is going to be the bedroom. So yeah, I think, if you can see me, I think that's it for this week. Um, like I said, because we had such we had to make decisions about the outside area um, a lot of the progress has actually been deciding things as opposed to physical progress it's more been sort of problem solving and coming up with new plans and then putting those plans forward do they work yes they work okay right let's draw them out and then everyone's got their plans to go with um, so yeah so not much seems like not much physical progress obviously the things come down but hopefully from now um, onwards you will see and um, much sort of greater progress each week so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time Bye.